Good morning, YouTube. So with today's video, let's change things up. I generally don't do these types of videos. I kind of thought that they were lame after a while. But today, we're going to switch things up and I'm going to give you my starting lineup for the summer of 2022 designer edition. All right. Now, when it comes to these starting lineups, there's six categories. So you're going to have like your work, your, your night out, your formal. And, and so on. But like the one category that's not gonna be in this is gonna be daring because I don't do daring. I like to play it safe. That's just who I am, okay? But let's just kick it off with the work category. And I want something that's gonna help me get through the day. Something that's gonna put a little bit of pep to my step to boost my mood. Because when I'm working with the general public, people are extremely exhausting especially when you're dealing with Torontonians. When people say that, when the world says that Canadians are friendly, you haven't really served Torontonians. That, that's a stereotype that I think is BS, all right? But the first fragrance I, want, I really want just to, to add that extra boost, to, to, to make me cheer up a little bit. And that's gonna be Jaguar's ultimate power. I want that ultimate power to get me through the day. Cause like at the end of the day, I am, exhausted dealing with Torontonians. I smell like a niche fragrance. I'm musky, I'm funky, I'm animalistic. Trust me, I smell like a real man's man at the end of the day and I'm not your man's man kind of guy. But this is green, it's fresh, it's fruity. So there's ginger, mint, apple. I believe that there's like lemon or maybe grapefruit, but there's also, I believe musk and uh, woods. This gets a lot of comparisons to Azaro's Chrome Aqua, which I have, but I wanted to add this one just because it's a little bit different. It's also cheaper. This is like 18 to $22. The Azaro's is like 35 to 40 bucks. So you're spending half the money for something that smells almost like it. And like the performance is pretty much on par because you're gonna get anywhere from five to seven hours with this one here. But Ultimate Power is a great scent that just doesn't get a lot of mention. So for my work scent, Jaguar's ultimate power. Category number two is gonna be Close Encounters and that's gonna be Calvin Klein Encounter Fresh. Ah, no, I did not add Encounter Fresh because it's Close Encounters. It's just, it's just whatever, right? I really didn't, but this is a great fresh fragrance that has sex appeal. So it has like a mojito, it's got rum, lavender, bergamot, cardamom. So the cardamom, the mojito and the rum, like the boozy, the booziness and that cardamom do add that sexy feel to my, to my nose. Like to my opinion, it's just a sexy, freshy. But there's also gonna be that sandwich. So this unfortunately is discontinued. You could still get these online. You know, you're gonna have to look around, but these might range a little bit more. Like at one time you can get these for like 20, 30 bucks, but you might spend about 70. That's what I did on perfumeonline.ca. I don't know if it's still there, but you might be able to find these at like your Ross, your TJ Maxx, Burlington Co. Factory, if you really just pay attention. But this is just an all around. It's one of my favorite scents from Calvin Klein because it's so different. That cardamom and the booziness just adds something different. It's sexy, it's fresh. Longevity off this is gonna range anywhere from five to six hours, but Close Encounters, definitely gotta go with the Encounter Fresh. For night out, I'm a casual kind of guy. So generally a night out for me would just consist of dinner in a movie, maybe a barbecue in the summertime. So I want something that's fresh, that's inoffensive, and that might smell a little bit different. So I'm gonna have to go with Kenneth Cole Vintage Black. With this one here, there's Woods Tequila. The tequila is very sparkling, it's bright, but you're also gonna get that lime. The lime really pops. So the, the tequila and the lime combination are really, like really inviting, very nice. It, 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 for me, this is a great casual night out. It's a great daytime fragrance, but like if you want something that's like a little bit understated, that this might smell a little bit different, might smell a little bit cheap because it's, it's kind of cool then I would definitely go with this one here. I really recommend this fragrance because it just doesn't get a lot of mention. Like back in the day, it did. I think it came out in like 08, maybe 2012. In and around there, but it, it's just a very sparkling, effervescent, lime, citrusy, bright scent with, with some warm spices, I believe, of either nutmeg or pepper. But there's like a musky, what he dry down. Longevity off this is not the best, but it's not bad. You're gonna get anywhere from five to six hours. 
Next category is going to be formal, and I definitely have to add this one because it's going to be Tom Ford's Grey Vetiver EDT. This has lemon, so lemon and vetiver are the most prominent notes to this scent here. But there's also orris, sage, and basil, so it's like a citrusy, earthy, herbal type of scent. With definitely that vetiver, and I believe maybe a little bit of sandalwood, or it might be cedar. Overall, this smells of class, of sophistication. It's a great day, but also night nice scent. You could wear it casually, but you could, at the same time, you could wear it with a tuxedo. It's a great scent. Whenever Tom Ford puts out a fragrance, and he puts out a lot of fragrances, but they smell of quality. Just a lot of them are butchered because they keep getting reformulated, and the price tag just keeps going up. But this does smell of quality. Longevity of this is going to range anywhere from 7 to 8 hours. And the last category is going to be signature. I'm going to have to go with Guerlain L'Homme Le Boisé. This just smells of class. It's masculine. It's mature. You could wear it pretty much for any situation. You could wear it for a casual, night out, formal. If you don't know what to wear, this is like, that's what your signature category is. It's like your dumb race, right? It's just, it's your Swiss army. You could wear this pretty much for any of the categories that I mentioned. It's got like grass, rum, it's got mint, vetiver, woods, lime, and musk. Mature, classy, sophisticated, masculine. For a fresh fragrance, this I would say is one of the more masculine and one of the more mature scents out there. But someone who's in their late 20s could rock it, no problem. Longevity off this for a freshie, it's Guerlain. So Guerlain puts out quality, plain and simple. When it comes to their high end or even like their low end designers, they put out quality, longevity, eight to nine hours. So guys, that's my starting lineup of 2022 designer edition. I do have a niche one in the works, so stay tuned for that. If you like this very video, please make sure to give me one of these as I really would appreciate it. If you want to see previous starting lineups, they might be summer, they might be winter. Again, I haven't done a whole lot of these as I kind of thought over the years, they're kind of like, eh, they're kind of lame, but you know what? We got to switch things up every now and then. They will be on this side here, guys. Thank you for your time. Take care, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.